a lot of our school system tends to compare our kids with an average student. We've created this, this mythical virtual average student and we're going to say, you know, you are seven years old and four months. So you, in theory, should have one year and four educational months. That's, you know, 14 educational months. So this is what an average kid should be able to do at that point. As if there are actually kids that are exactly at that point, at that point. And if kids completely, equally develop in all levels at the same time. It's actually not a whole lot of people that do that. And... You know, when you're working, people probably pr appreciate for you. Wow, you're analytical. And they're not going to say, well, you know, your languages aren't all that. Well, you're an engineer or the other way around. You know, you're a writer, you're not analytical. We're happy with that. We're not going to say, you know, well, oh, um, you're an engineer, but let's first do like three years of language classes. So you really fine tune that part. But it is what we do in ed education. And often we judge our kid by their worst grade as opposed to, you know, celebrating their best part. So what are your, your positive sides? So what are your talents? One of the quotes I really like by Martin Seligman is um, you should spend your life living your signature strengths and you should work enough on your weaknesses so they don't hinder you in that process. So that's a very specific definition. You know, work on your talents, design your life around your talents and make sure that your weaknesses aren't in your way. So this could be working on your executive skills, by the way. It doesn't mean that your executive skills have to be the best in the world. But if you can't focus for more than a minute, then probably you can't be like a physics string theorist. Like that is not going to coincide. So if that's your weakness, you have to learn how to focus enough so you can be that physicist you want to be or that entrepreneur you want to be. But then you've got a reason. It's not the goal itself, but it's to make sure that you can do what you want to do.